What's going on everybody? Let's solve this math question that says find the value of x for which 4 to the a is equal to 48. Well our first step will be for us to take the log of both sides. So I'll take the log of 4 to the a equal to I'll take the log of 48. Now our next step will be for us to apply the law of logarithm that says when I have the log of, for example, x to the p, this is written as p log x. So let's apply this here. That means this log now becomes a log 4. And this is equal to log 48. Now since we're looking for a, our next step will be for us to divide both sides by log 4. So I'll divide the left by log 4. I'll divide the right hand side by log 4. Now notice that log 4 cancels out log 4, leaving behind a to be equal to log 48 all over log 4. Now our next step will be for us to break down 48. So I'm going to be doing something like this. So this is 48. 2 can divide. So 48 divided by 2, I have 24. Now 24 divided by 2, I have 12. Now 12 divided by 2, I have 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and then 3 divided by 3 is 1. So you can see that I have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's 2 into 4 places. That's 2 to the 4 times 3. So this is 48. So I'm going to be writing this in place of this 48 here. Let's do that. So this becomes a equal to log 48 is same as 2 to the 4 times 3. All over, the denominator is log 4. Now our next step will be for us to apply the law of logarithm that says when I have the log of x times y, this can be written as log x plus log y. Now let's apply this multiplication law of logarithm to what we have here. That means this expression can be written as log 2 to the fourth, so log 2 to the fourth plus log 3, log 3 all over the denominator log 4. Now our next step will be for us to split the fraction. So a now becomes log 2 to the fourth divided by the denominator which is log 4 plus which is this plus here log 3 divided by the denominator log 4. Now, we know that 4 is same as 2 squared. So that means I'm going to be writing this as 2 squared. So a now becomes log 2 to the 4th all over log 2 squared. Plus, this is log 3 all over log 4, which is log 2 squared. Now our next step will be for us to apply the power law of logarithm, the one that we applied the other time. So this becomes a to be equal to 4 log 2 all over. Now the denominator, the power, which is 2 log 2 plus, now we have log 3 here all over. Apply the power law here, 2 log 2. So this is 2 
log 2. Very good. So now notice that log 2 cancels out log 2 so that we have a to be equal to 4 divided by 2 is 2. Plus, now look at what we have here. There is an invisible one here. So this means 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 log 3 over log 2. So log 3 over log 2. Now, there is a law of logarithm, which is known as the law of change of base, which says when I have a log of x all over the log of y, this can be written as log x base y. That means we can write this in this form so that our answer becomes a equal to 2 plus 1 over 2. Now, this becomes log 3 base 2. Now, let's check if our answer is actually correct. Remember the given question that we're given 4 to the a equal to 48. So, this is 4 to the a. What is our value for a? a is 2 plus 1 over 2 log 3 base 2. So, 2 plus 1 over over 2 log 3 base 2. Now we are solving to see if we're going to have 48. Now we can decide to apply the law of indices here. The law of indices that says when I have x to the p plus q, this is the same as x to the p times x to the q. That means this can be written as 4 squared. So 4 squared times 4 to the 1 over 2 log 3 base 2. So we are checking if we have 48. 4 squared is actually 16 times. Now 4 is same as 2 squared. And this is raised to the 1 over 2 log 3 base 2. So we are checking to see if we have 48. Now, according to indices, powers multiply. That means the power here multiplies this power outside. And if that is the case, that means this 2 cancels out this 2. So that we are left with 16 times 2 to the log 3 base 2. Now we're checking to see if we have 48. Now, there is a property of logarithm that says when I have x to the log of, let's say, b base x, as long as this base here and this base here are the same, we take the number b. Now, watch what we have here. The base here and this base here are the same, so we're just going to take this number 3. So this is 16 times 3. We're checking to see if we have 48. Unfortunately, 16 times 3 gives 48. So our value for x, sorry, for a equal to 2 plus 1 over 2 log 3 base 2 is actually correct. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. Like I always say, until next time, take care.